Howdy y'all, this is Benjamin Gotch. I'm just recording this video as I do the full mission test for the Gemini as proof that I completed all the Academy things for the full mission. I'm not 100% sure if I did the uh, re-entry and the orbit and re-entry one right, uh, because it told me mission success before I deployed the parachutes, but I know how to do that, and I know when to do that, so hopefully I do it right in the test. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty bad about winging tests. Uh, like this, so this is probably going to go horribly. Nonetheless, if it succeeds, uh, we'll uh, get that. Uh, I'll, I'll post it. So, all right. So let's start with the mission pad. Go to the checklist and perform our pre-flight checks. This. Main battery up, that is it. The pilot's panel up. Main battery three up. Main battery four up. Squid battery up. Squid battery two up. Squid battery three up. Fuel cell one A up. One B up. One C up. Two alpha up. Two bravo up. Two charge up. Computer power on. NDIU power on. Split boost insert. Commander's panel. Up. 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 Center panel. Up. 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 Down. Computer set. panel, radio check, being 5x5, five five. ready to launch. Okay, now I guess we just go to launch. Seems like a good place to stop and prepare. Let's check out the mission pad and see. Alright, so those are going to be the ones that we're going to have to do next. Close out of that for now. Without the entirety of the lessons, I have no idea what any of this does, what I'm supposed to use it for. I'm sure it'll come in later, but in the academy, there was nothing on those at all, nor any of these. Weird plunger things. A long keyhole. So I don't know what those do. Circularization snorkel. Cabin vent. Water seal. Oh, okay, that's what those are. That's what I was talking about. That's for re entry. I also really don't like this thing. I think it's confusing the, vi the visuals it is. Alright. Another 50 seconds till launch. It's all pretty much autopilot from here. Just throw some switches and sit back and let the let the countdown take you home. So that's not that's not too bad. That's quite easy. Lower that 
it down. I don't know. I like it a little dimmer. Okay. This. The suit temperature appears to be over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that it? Yeah, that's Fahrenheit. That seems a little high. I, I don't know. I'd like to get it lowered, but uh, I don't know how to do that. Is that, is that this thing? No, that's, that's the pressurization. able to hear from the mission, from crew, crew a little clear, being that I am the crew member. That's just a joke, I've listened to a lot of, uh, what is it, mission audio, especially from Gemini and uh, Apollo, uh, that's just a, I don't know why they decided to record mission audio, why they didn't decide to record mission audio from both the ground and from, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I bet you they did actually record it from both, but I'm just... I'm only finding uh, sites where they're showing from ground records. rather than the uh, small chip and uh, silicon-based computer systems that we have now of, of the day, of our day. If you look at the, uh, I, I, one of my favorite things is we're looking at the uh, um, future space capsule, specifically the Orion, the CST-100 Starliner, and the uh, Dragon version 2, and rather than all these switches and gauges you will have going to have um, loads, well, not loads, but uh, just a few uh, sort of LCD sort of screens, sort of like my laptop screen or your TV screen, 
and those are going to be the displays. Uh, I like the Orion and the CST um, 100s sort of system a lot better than I like the Dragon one, mainly because it has auxiliary switches that allow you to switch the display rather than the Dragon being a basically full touch screen space capsule, which astronauts have described as flying an iPad. I thought that's bad, but I, I don't know. I've never... It, 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 it just doesn't sound as uh, cool and as fun as uh, flying an actual spaceship. Even though you are flying an actual spaceship. I honestly, again, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm not an expert in any of these. I, I just... These are my opinions. My garbage opinions. Alright, we're doing great. So... Uh, separate the spaceship. Bam! Done. Let's also jettison that fairing. And for the IVIs, that's good. Let's go over to the mission pad. And run that. So power this on. And put that on. Alright. And then we'll also go over to the mission pad. Do an insertion checklist. What, you want me to power that down? Oh, I'm uh, gonna go over to the pilot's panel. Put that middle, 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 middle. And go over to the commander's panel. Set y'all to down, down. Already done. Alright. Alright, let's uh, re enable our OMS. Turn that on. Alright, now let's go to the mission pad. And. I probably should have read what that thing said, but I think it said catch up. Oh, that's right there. Now we're gonna wait ten minutes. Yep, it's running. Once that turns off, we can hit start. Just with core one nine. Roger. Let's just keep waiting. I don't know when that light's gonna turn off. I think it's when that light turns off that I can hit start and then we're good to go. So let's go over to the pilot's panel and watch. Oh, snap, there it goes, there's that light. So now we can hit run. Computer module will give you correct once you reach out between time to apogee can be read using the core 7.3 and apogee core 7.4. Let's do core seven three read out one eight six five. Uh, I need a calculator because I'm not good at 
don't have a calculator. I have an actual calculator. Right here. Right next to me. Ugh. Flight time is currently 19 minutes 29 seconds. Let's turn on this calculator that I carry with me. 1865 divided by 60 equals. That is 30 minutes. Oh, let's read that out again. Yeah, 30 minutes. So, 30 minutes until Apogee. So let's go to the mission pad and let's circularize our orbit. Set apoapsis to core 57 and periapsis to core 56 to your destination target. I don't know what that is. Let's head back to. Let's get into that. Commander's panel. Check out this. So we need to go forward to five. Is that okay? Let's get to orbit info. Our apoapsis is 242.3 kilometers. Periapsis is 186.4 kilometers. Inclination 32.5 degrees. Period 5,319 seconds. With 17,057 seconds until well, 1,757 seconds until we reach Apoapsis or Core 73. So I assume. So let's read out real fast. 1738 divided by 60 is 28.9. So 20. I'm going to put it up 29 minutes, so, uh, let's hit that at stop, okay. We will be at our apoapsis. I believe that's what that clock is for. I hope that's right. Oh. Again, y'all can grade me once I'm done. Uh, give me an A, B, C, or D grade based off of how well I handle these systems. I'm just going off. Um, uh, my intuition based off of what I was taught. Okay, so, let's see, ten times, so we get about 15, now I assume we're going to want to put this pointy end forward. SEF sharp end forward, which we're going to do once we hit about 15 minutes till uh, apoapsis. Retro check. One hour, twenty six minutes, fifty eight seconds, and just with core nineteen. Okay. Eight, three, four. 
let's just double check. Yeah, that's about right. It's about right. Uh, I don't know what 14.4 minutes is in seconds. I'm just going to multiply it by 60. Well, I don't know what, the, four, what point four minutes. seconds okay so I'm a little off I'm a little off by a few seconds but that's okay uh, we will just double check it with our uh, computer system over here this uh, awesome little screenless computer that um, I kind of want in my own house for I have no idea what reason I would use one but uh, I would like to have one you know so anyway uh, we better set this to sharp and forward just for the purposes of this flight. Let's check out the uh, check out the window. Ooh, pretty. It's pretty, ain't it? Ain't it weird. Weird image glitches. But that is a lot of stars, more stars than I've seen in uh, my hometown. Okay. Just another 13 minutes until Apple lapses. Now I have to remember how to boost forward. Uh, maybe this thing will tell me. Just move forward. Move to about five minutes before. boost up to about five minutes before apoapsis and then we'll check everything out from there y'all are probably screaming at me right now about what I should be doing but uh, I can't hear you because I'm in space and you're not see all those stars all right right about five minutes before adjusting to the sharp end forward oh oh I think I see the numbers on here now holy crap I did not see those okay seconds so we're off by oh it's been probably five seconds since I I don't even know how long it's been since I typed that but uh yeah we're gonna be off we're gonna be we're behind actually so this will eventually might as well just move over to the pilot's panel and just watch that this seat seconds until apoapsis so let's go to the mission pad real fast and do circularization check set apoapsis core 57 to your destination target and I think this is all already set in so we're just going to go to the commander's panel I have to move forward I believe this 25, 25 meters per, or feet per second. That's, that's how much velocity I have to change in the forward direction in order to do this. So now I just need to, when I hit apoapsis, I think it will be, let's do a quick test. Oh, hey, yeah, okay, yep, got it. 
So we're about two minutes before I hit the right button. We have five meter five feet per second less. I'm so used to Kerbal Space Program and meters per second. I mean, yeah, this should be pretty easy. So we're at about 110 seconds till, um, till Apoapsis. We can do slight, slight burns to correct and then ask about our orbital info. I think in about 30 seconds I will off by 22 seconds over here so we need to decrease this IVI's on mark. Roger. Snap. Uh, just stop. Seven. Oh, piss. Sorry if uh, that was. Alright, sorry. Retrogate is in one hour and seven seven minutes forty six seconds. So that would be sixty seven minutes forty six seconds. So let's increase. Can't do that though. Seven minutes, forty-six seconds. Took about twenty seconds off of that. Let's make it. Uh, no. 
sentences. That's probably good. Countdown. Okay. Time to retro check. Say one hour. Adjust with core one nine. So let's go over to the pilot's panel. Clear this out. Do one nine. Read out. Three nine four two. Three thousand nine hundred and forty two seconds. And this video is already 30 minutes long, so let's go back to the commander's panel and time warp our way through this. Let's see if this thing reminds me at any certain point. Uh, let's actually check the mission pedal or some checklist that we have to do. There's five minutes till retro, 30 seconds till retro. Okay. That is... Okay. I think I'm doing this right. Am I doing this right? Like, if I post this to YouTube and y'all are screaming that I'm doing everything wrong, let me know, please. And then tell me what I need to do. Because, uh... How am I supposed to fly a, a, the real space capsule if I can't do this? some reason. I don't know why. 245. Alright, we're about 30 minutes away from our retro checklist. Not something I'm looking forward to because I'm pretty sure that is when I'm going to die. Ugh. I'd get up and go and get a soda, but I'm only 30 minutes away from re retro and I'm supposed to be in a space capsule. Uh, 178 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, so I can't exactly ju jump up and get a soda. Where do they store their food in here? Is it these bags here? I thought that was a checklist of equipment. Is it this bag over here? You know what? Just questions to ask an astronaut. Hello, Earth. Alrighty. 15 minutes till retro. minutes till retro. Oh. We're in the five minutes till retro checklist. Roger that. I guess I was off by a couple of, by a few seconds. But let's run that. Let's see. All right. So you to off. Set you off. Turn you off, turn you off, turn you on, push, main battery one, up, yep, that's going to be at the pilot's panel, this is why we need two people here, up. fuel cell power, powering down the fuel cells. RCS, push. Separate. I'm going to go over to the finish panel for this. This seems like an easier one here. Okay, I'd like to close this one. Done. 
separate electric separate adapter done computer set to mode 5 Auto retro up. Auto retro main up. Okay. Now all we gotta do is wait for 30 seconds. Okay. If it's going to be at about one, I know exactly how far off I was, so that'll be good info. Stop it. Oh, snap. Yep, we're off. Way off. So let's do the auto retro checklist. Pretty far off there. Once the retro start burning, it will start shaking. Stops the retro burns completely. Okay, retro has started. Roger. 30 seconds. Complete jettison retro checklist. Let's get that ready. Jettison retros. Okay, that's done. Turn that on. Jettison Retros. Jettison. Let's check out our orbital info. Zero kilometers. Retros separated. Good. Now complete the post retro jettison checklist. The computer has probably not loaded the modules once UAA. Just press start on the computer. Just the checklist. Alright, we better just run the post retro jettison checklist real fast um, down 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 turn you up 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 all right that's all good so, so run the hf radio checklist Enable the hf radio during entry Set HF radio checklist. Set that to up and turn that up. Roger. Directory starts. Follow the landing checklist. Remember to deploy the drogues when you reach 40,000 feet altitude. Let's do hit the landing checklist and just run that real fast. And we're going to. Uh, Time warp until we start re entering the atmosphere. I can see Earth. I think we're pointing the right way. It's about 30 degrees. We're facing about 30. Oh, and we hit atmosphere. That's the right direction. But, uh, what's our altitude? 93 kilometers. All right, we are below the Kármán line. We are no longer in space. All of these lights are green as I have completed all of these. Now all that is left is to throw these switches once ooh, we're starting to get red lights. Okay, starting to get re-entry heating. I think we're facing the right way. I would hope this spacecraft knows what it's doing. Or is button forward bad? Is it Is this gonna be bad? 
Do I have to put? Do I have to free those? It's a little late to decide now. I was just following the checklist. If I die, it's because I followed the checklist. That's the important thing. What's our altitude now? We're at 67 kilometers. That's a lot of dry land there. I'm a little worried about that. Uh, I wonder what happens if you ask him about the fuel cell the temperature. Adapter separated, no fuel cells available. Yeah, I, I figured. I just wanted to check to make sure. Uh, actually, those were ditched before the, the retro motor. So those are probably still in orbit. Are those still there today? Or have those long entered the atmosphere? Questions I need answered. Now we get the intense music. I'm pretty sure I'm not facing the right way. I'm pretty sure I'm just facing the way similar to this. Flying the Mercury and it blew up on me while re entering, so I, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to die after getting this far. I did so well. These orbital re entries last so long. Glitch during my re but during my re-entry thing where it was telling me I was nine billion kilometers away while I was re-entering. I was like, I don't think that's right. Are you sure you want to check on that? I haven't exploded yet. And we're at 17 kilometers now. I don't know if that means we're safe. Shaking has stopped. Oh, we're at 40 kilometers. Hold on. Drogue is out. Yep, see the drogue? And we got lights. This thing is still trying to keep me. Just, just stop. Just stop. Stop, man. We're at 10 kilometers. Is that what that is? You were below 200 feet. Better go back to the panel. So once that is about there, that long line is 200 is hundreds of feet, right? I believe so. I would think so. So once we hit that, we'll throw that button, and I will have done it. I, I have actually done it. Holy crap. Uh, applaud for myself. And this is awesome. Uh, good job to me. Uh, I would like to thank me and myself and I, also my crewmate, me, uh, for this amazing achievement. Uh, now I guess I'm ready to start docking and other things that are incredibly hard. Okay. Two, three hundred feet. That was actually really stressful. Like my heart rate actually shot up there. All right. Two hundred feet. Landing attitude. One hundred feet. How fast are we accelerating? 
coming down at about 10 feet per second. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I did it. Okay, real fast. Ah! There we go. There we go. That that does it. I did it. Y'all are welcome. Um. Yeah, I did it. Finally, thank you.